Hey guys, I'm going to shoot a um, quick video of the text in this um, turquoise edition because of a lot of blurring that was happening on my camera, even though um, it only lasted for a couple minutes where it got really bad. But that just bothers me and somebody uh, made a comment that it was hard for them to see it, the text part of the Bible. And what's important about this Bible to me is the text. So um, instead of, you know, deleting that video because I had a lot of content. I'm going to um, go through this the best I can and try to keep this camera focused so um, people can see the text. So, as long as I can keep this camera on track here. See, it already wants to not focus for me. But, Flip through here. Old Testament. And I can compare the print to this um, CSB from Holman. So you can get kind of a comparison of what the text looks like, how big it is. I think the Holman's a 10 point font, which makes sense. It's a little bit bigger, but not as bold. Yeah, I can't wait to get a new camera. This thing's horrible. But it's the best I can do. It's just a phone camera right now, so you're going to have to bear with it. Bear with me here, guys. This will be a very short video. And I want church publishers to be able to get a good, a good um, clean view of their text, which I think they've really, um, really uh, stepped it up with that issue, and are really trying hard to give you guys a nice clean font, and also um, no fading throughout the text, which is just really, really cool. And the ghosting's um, not bad at all. You can see it here where there's no um, writing that shows through, but where you see the text, uh, naked eye, it's lighter. The camera makes it a little bit darker. So. Titles, and then in the back here, show you a close up of the. Yeah. Very nice in the chord section. The smaller print. Let's jump over to the little guy. So that was your turquoise purple Bible. And here's the little compact. Try to get nice close ups. Now, the little one here, it does have ghosting in the blank spots, but. As you can see, that print is so dark and so bold that it is very, very uh, easy to read for me. So, give you guys nice clear shots of it. Focus that again. But yeah, you see how it's dark just throughout the whole text. This is actually darker than the uh, blackface from R.L. Allen, in my opinion. It's really, really awesome. I'll compare that to this Clarion, which I couldn't remember the name of that in the last video. So, there's the Clarion ink compared to Church Publishers. That is just amazing, guys. It's amazing ink. Anyways, just want to do a quick video for um, for that viewer. Um, if I can take the time to do it, I'll do it. And I really hate watching videos that blur out, and I, I, I'm sorry for that because it bugs me too. So, anyways, hopefully this will help you out if this is a Bible you're interested in, or if you're in, just interested in the new one. Their hand-sized turquoise. It's a beautiful text. Very dark too. So, 
Yeah, it's got such excellent spacing, the Turquoise Bible. I mean, it really spaces the words. It's nice and clean. I like that. It's a really nice Bible, guys. So if you're looking for a good hand size that's really easy to read, I highly suggest this Bible. Amazing Bible. Anyways, I hope that helps people out. I'll post this video for you guys. And hopefully, my next video, I can stop that issue. But anyways, guys, God bless. Take it easy.